You have Homebridge running and all of his smart home devices are functioning well within HomeKit. Now the only issue is you need to access the web UI to check for any updates or if something doesn't work. So in this tutorial, let's add a Homebridge status widget to your iOS screen to get rich notifications and visual status of the service. Wow. This widget that we are going to install was well thought, well designed, and it shows a beautiful summary of your Homebridge instance. Now, thanks again to the same widget, I only access the web UI when it really needs my attention. It also notifies me when a status has changed and also shows me the Homebridge dashboard right on my iPhone. Now, that's really cool. Anyways, if you're into smart home DIY and obviously love the Apple HomeKit ecosystem, then I've done tons of tutorial videos that you can use. So please do take a look and don't be shy to like, share and subscribe to always follow along. Well, for this widget to work and show up correctly on your iPhone and iPad, we will need one, an app called Scriptable that we will install on our iOS device that will also install the script. Then for the widget to work, you will definitely need the Homebridge service already installed and running on your local network. Plus your phone or iPad is also connected to the same local network. Plus stay till the end, I'll also show you a very simple way to update Node and NPM by using a Siri shortcut. And don't worry, I've also left the timestamps in the description together with the links. So let's not waste our time like obviously and let's jump into this tutorial. So. This is the website to the Homebridge status widget and over here you're going to find a lot of information on what the widget does and all of the graphical information that it typically will represent your dashboard that you see on in your Homebridge uh, web interface. So all it does it replicates all of that provides important information like which plugins are up to date if uh, Node.js needs to be updated and the overall system it itself including the CPU as well as the RAM usage. So very a detailed information that you will find over here. So I've left the link in the description where you can deep dive and get more into information out of the widget. But what we're going to do first is now go and access the widget. So the widget is made up of a uh, JavaScript file that we're going to copy all of the information, configure it and load it into the app called Scriptable. So let's do one thing first. Let's copy the entire script. So command A, command C, and I'm not going to be using a self, uh, the iPhone to uh, configure this script. I'm just going to do it on this site called jasonlint.com. So it becomes much more easier to visualize with all the changes I'm doing. So I'm going to paste the information. And the first thing I'm going to update is give it a name. So I'm just going to call it uh, config black that's over here because I'll be using the black background. So config black. And the next thing I want to do is change the value on the override persistence to true. So this allows me to have minimum errors with the connection in timeout. And the next thing I want to go and tell the script where my home bridge instance is located. So it's important to share the IP address if you're using a Raspberry Pi to run the home bridge or a Synology NAS or your Mac or PC. So let me paste the information over here. If you don't know the IP address, you can use an application called Landscan for uh, Mac and there are other alternatives for PC as well. So I'm just going to hit play here and it's going to locate the the IP address. So this is the IP address of the Raspberry Pi that ends with dot two. So I'm just going to update it. From here, I want to also update the credential information, the username and password. So if you have a default username and password, which is admin admin, please use it. And if not, you can add in the credentials that you have created. So in my case, it's admin admin. Then you want to enable notifications. You want to leave the rest of the configuration as is in the iCloud is going to save the file that we created up here called configblack.json. If you want to choose a temperature, you can change between Celsius to Fahrenheit. Now the request timeout interval, uh, when you load this script, it will instantly go to connect. If there's any uh, connection delay, it's going to be a timeout. So I would recommend it updating it to 15 seconds to connect with the Homebridge instance and pull an update. From there, you want to choose a background color mode. In my case, let's use black light. 
or you can leave the default as well. If you want to customize, we can use the option custom and then you can add in your own uh, color needs over here. And then from there, you can also go ahead and update the icons. To update the icons, you can always consult Emojipedia to do that. And as well as your notification. So if you want any specific notification the way you want to see it, you can also update the task as well as the emoji as well. So that's the only configuration we have to do for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this entire configuration, use the universal clipboard and go into the app installation. So command A, command C. Let's go over to the iOS. Let's open up the app store and we're going to look for scriptable. Let's download the app, open and let's create a new script, paste. Now once the configuration is paste, you want to give it a name. So let's call this home script since I already have another one with home bridge. Rename, close. Now before you, you tap on done, let's hit play. So it will connect with the home bridge instance. Say okay. You're not going to see any messages over here because you'll have to rerun the script again. So close, hit the script again. And there is your widget. Now let's go ahead and add it to your home screen. Tap on close, tap on done, minimize, and tap on the screen. Let's open up a new home screen, tap on add, tap on scriptable, select this layout, add widget. So you're gonna tap choose, so you're gonna select home script. Now, when interacting, it can go and open up the scriptable app, but what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and open up the URL for Homebridge done there we are so that's the widget and you can see that my home bridge instance is updated there are no updates available so this is a very good one-stop shop glance on your home bridge instance now if there was any updates required you would see the icons in red and you would be prompted to uh, access your uh, web ui now what i've done is at the same time if you want to update your node or npm there's another script i want to show you so that's very simple let's go and access the uh, shortcuts app let's install my mac and i'm going to tap on plus i'm going to be saying ssh and i'm going to type in the address 192.168 of my home bridge instance username is pi I'm going to use the authentication as password and the password to access raspberry okay and the script i have uh, left a link in the description that it's going to update the packages update node update npm and then reboot so i'm just going to copy all of this and paste it now once it's there let's go ahead and hit play so we can check if it works allow so as long as it's green give it a couple of seconds we can even go to home bridge it's going to run all of these commands and even reboot the service so let's access it and there we are so it is working it's able to reboot the service and the entire service rebooting so it's when it done all the updates and you will see that the logs is also available over here. so this shows you what's being done and just like that with the widget and with the uh, siri shortcut over here is so simple to manage your home bridge instance without even accessing the web ui and just like that that's a wrap up a very simple straightforward home bridge status widget that allows you to have a glance on the status of the service and also get rich notifications now don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to always follow along. And if there's anything I can help you with, leave a comment down below to keep the conversation going. And yes, don't forget to support the developers for their awesome work with our DIY solutions. So my friends, until the next time, stay safe, have a nice day. Cheers and happy automation.